Uh, joining me now is New York Post columnist Miranda Devine. Miranda, good to see you. Um, listen, I, I thought that Paul Pelosi, her husband, would have made the trip with her to advance his credibility in foreign business dealings. But it wasn't her, her husband. It was her son who went on this trip. What do you think about uh, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, bringing her son on a foreign trip like this? Hi, Sean. Well, look, it's deja vu, isn't it? This is yeah. what Joe Biden did with Hunter Biden. Uh, it seems to be just common practice in Washington to bring your adult children along so that they can uh, pursue their business goals, because we know that Paul Pelosi Jr. Uh, is um, involved with businesses that are in some way connected to Taiwan and the semiconductor industry. And uh, we also know that Nancy Pelosi went to quite a lot of trouble to uh, remove any sort of um, link with uh, her son and make sure that the American public was in the dark about his going along on the trip. The only reason we found out about it was because foreign um, uh, you know, sources, uh, foreign journalists actually published uh, photos with him in it and also because I think there was a Taiwanese official who thanked him in his official speech. Now, hilariously, Nancy Pelosi's office deleted that section from the speech from their website. So they're trying to hide it. And if it's all above board and she just brought her son along as um, her escort to replace her husband, who's got a few problems of his own with that DUI charge, uh, then why did she go to this effort to keep his uh, presence under wraps? Yeah, well, of course. I mean, you would have put him on the manifest. You would have celebrated that your son is coming with you on this trip. And you don't have to do business when you're over there with your mom, the Speaker of the House, just being seen with that power. Mm -hmm. It does great benefit to you as you try to cut new deals over in Taiwan. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty clear. Here's what concerns me about what's happening, Miranda. So not only are we normalizing the fact that Joe Biden can travel with, uh, with his dad, I'm sorry, Hunter Biden can travel with his dad, Joe, when he was the vice president. Now the son of Nancy Pelosi can travel with him. We're degrading the standards that we have in how families can use the power and influence of their family members who are in elected office. That's number one. But also you see Nancy Pelosi kicking Republican members off committees. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she kicked Marjorie Taylor Greene off, uh, off a committee because she doesn't like her politics. She won't let Republicans serve on the January 6th committee as selected by uh, leader Kevin McCarthy. They're degrading all these norms that have kept our institutions mm. functioning and well. And uh, I don't understand why they do that, because when Republicans take over, I think they're going to do the exact same thing to Democrats. It doesn't make any sense to me. What do you say, Miranda? No, it doesn't. The only uh, thing that Democrats are probably banking on is that the Republicans are less inclined to bust norms, more inclined to uh, try and restore norms, in which case they think that they won't get the, the equal and equivalent payback. Uh, I, I'm not getting that feeling from Kevin McCarthy and his crew. Uh, there will be new Republican members who are pretty much red-pilled. I think the sort of gentlemanly uh, behaviour of, of Mitch McConnell and so on in the past, or Paul Ryan, um, that uh, I think has been superseded because of really the quite appalling speakership of Nancy Pelosi, this zero-sum game uh, that she plays. And for instance, it's not just her either. I mean, Adam Schiff is a particularly bad chairman um, of the Intel Committee, and I, I think you certainly will find uh, next year, assuming that uh, the Republicans do take back control of the House, that Adam Schiff will be stripped of his committee rights. Uh, and that is as it should be, because he has leaked, he has lied, he has abused his power on that incredibly important to our National Security Committee. You know what? It's, um, it, I think Republicans are going to do it. They don't break the norms, but they'll follow suit when Democrats do break the norms. I think you're going to see Republicans, when they get back in power, there's going to be an investigation and a raid of Joe Biden's home and Hunter Biden's home. I think that's bad for, uh, for democracy, but I think that's the new yeah. future that we're going to live it's in, terrible. Miranda. You have a great piece uh, in the New York Post. Uh, check it out, everybody. Miranda Devine, thanks for joining me.